Hey, I'm a mechanical engineer, and these are some free parts I found. So I live close to a desert that people love to pollute by dumping all of their trash into it. And although this is annoying and illegal, in the past I've been able to find some pretty cool electrical and mechanical things to repurpose into some of my new creations. So in this video, I thought we would change pace a little bit and I'll take you guys out to the desert to see if we can find any treasure among the trash. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. So here we are at the entrance to the desert. I just barely stepped in a couple hundred feet, so we still have a long ways to go. And it's a little bit windy, so I hope you guys can still hear me. I'm about 10 minutes in. Here's a vacuum and a cooler. I've actually stolen a few parts from this vacuum before, but there's still a pretty good motor left inside there. I might take that someday, but I don't need it, so I'm not going to touch it. So let's keep moving on. And look at this. We're just like two minutes further down than the vacuum cleaner. And look at this. We found a Power Wheels car. This is the kind of stuff why I come out here. And if you look right here, the motor is just sitting there. This is the same kind of motor that I used to build my micro go-kart a few months back. This is perfect. I'm gonna take this. I'm actually gonna see if I can find the other one and then I'll go on to the next trash pile. I don't see it today, but last time I was out here, an old junker car was parked right there. It was just sitting there decomposing. Someone must have come and picked it up. And here's our first trash pile. I tell you, someone's been doing some hardcore cleaning up because this isn't half as bad as it was the other day. But let's go ahead through and see if we can find anything. Actual trash, actual trash. Hey, a lice infested mattress. I'll come back for that, said no one ever. This is interesting and no way useful, but interesting. I think this is part of an old TV. There's another one sitting over there. And then another old vacuum cleaner. Oh well, on to the next pile. I think I found desert Ikea. Look at this, I'm just a few steps into desert Ikea and I already found another Power Wheels car. And look at that, the motors are still just sitting in there. I did bring some tools with me, maybe I'll see if I can take this apart real quick. Oh, and there's a switch. And here are the seats for the car, like 150 feet away. And look at this, yet another Power Wheels car. I actually tried to steal the wheels from this several months ago, but I didn't have the tools to get them out. So, I don't know if I'll be able to today either. It looks like that doll had one terrible time as well. It looks like a daycare recently went out of business. Anyone in need for a mint condition? A uh, slightly used can a terrible uh, never mind guys. I just found a wild German Shepherd and by wild dog I meant stray a little bit of a difference somewhat frightening. I think he weighs more than I do I did not see him till I was right upon him. Hey look I found a small boat you guys could come pick it up or you could leave it here You know whatever floats your boat <laughs> a boat in the middle of the desert just proof of Noah's flood am I right? another power wheels car Okay, this is becoming somewhat predictable, but still, this is a four-wheeler. That's pretty cool. And it's quite large, so maybe we have some pretty decent uh, beefy motors on it. A cool thing about these Power Wheels cars is the vast majority of them will run flawlessly if you just replace the batteries. Oh my goodness, it had suspension on it. This is the coolest thing ever. Ugh, something took a dookie right there. Maybe that's why they got rid of it. Look at this, a table. That's pretty sweet. I mean, obviously, it's not in perfect condition. Missing a drawer, but... Still, that's pretty cool. That German Shepherd's gonna love it. Honey, I want you to clean out the garage. I don't care what you do with it. Wow, what a surprise. It's a Power Wheels car. Didn't see that coming. Barbie. Second verse, same as the first. But this gearbox is cracked. I don't think we can do much with that one. Oh, mercy, I am not alone. I just saw a man in his most natural state doing I don't know what. If anyone's not yet seen Pirates of the Caribbean, I know where you can find a copy of it. On the ground. I'm not gonna lie, I've been out here a little while and I kinda have to use the bathroom. I'm not really sure what I'm gonna do, but I guess, oh hey, I'll go in this one. <laughs> Psych, I'm just messing with you guys. Of course I wanna go in that one. I went in the one back there. I've passed by so many tires, but these are three of the larger ones, or four, I'm sorry, I can't count. These are four of the larger ones. We could definitely do something cool with these, maybe build a tire swing or some kind of makeshift punching bag. I'm 20 years old, is that too old for a tire swing? I don't know, I have to look that up. Someone didn't want to do laundry, they're gonna be in trouble. Look at this, a mini fridge. You could do all sorts of cool stuff with this, even if you just stole parts from it. We have capacitors, resistors, and I think a couple transformers. That's pretty cool. I just found someone's collection of Bob the Builder. Who in the world would throw these things away? The magic school bus, these people must have been insane. Turn bad pupils into good pupils. Wow. Here's a new pile of stuff. Looks like mainly clothes. However, we do have that gnarly drum set over there. 
another old TV. I really don't have any use for any of these parts at the moment, but it's kind of cool to stockpile for rainy day. But do be careful when you take parts stuff like this because they do have capacitors in them that could still be holding plenty of enough charge to kill you, honestly, depending on what you're taking apart. This one seems to have had a VHS player built into it because I can see the uh, ejection device in there. Couch. Couch. Bed. Couch. Guys, it's an arcade game. It's one of the shooter games. I'm gonna see if I can pick this up real quick. Yeah, there's no way I'm picking that up by myself, so I just flipped it over. Look at this, so the police trainer. When I flipped it over, I heard coins in there. Not very many, but there's some coins in there. Look at that, all the internals are still in there. Look at this thing. This is awesome, the red one's broken, but this one still works, I'm assuming. Actually, who knows? Look at this, the buttons are so easy to access. I think I'm gonna pull out these buttons. I'm gonna see if I can pull out this assembly here also. So I found about 36 cents and then some coins that say CC's Pizza. So evidently that's where this thing originated from. So way to go CC's. I'm gonna unbolt this handgun and take this too. There's a switch built into it. So I was just walking along and I found this, an old pump or fan or something. It's been out here for a while because the plastic's pretty brittle, but I think the motor is still in good enough condition to be used for something. Look at this, a little kid's bike. If we would've got here a little sooner, maybe we could've taken the sprocket before it rusted over, but still pretty cool. I am now in a different part of the desert. It's been several months since I've been in this particular part, but last time I was here, I saw that someone built a small house or a rather large shelter out of nothing but trash they found in the desert. So I'm going to go ahead and see if I can relocate that so I can show you guys. An ironing board, random but interesting. Another couch. I tell you, we should bring all the couches in the desert together in one big area and we can have a giant couch party. What is a couch party, you ask? I have no idea, but we can find out together. Okay, guys, I just found the fort, but there's a guy out walking around, so I'm gonna see if I can go somewhat incognito, which is impossible to do because he already saw me, but here we go. So evidently what we came across was some form of homeless settlement. And actually a lot of the surrounding desert was a lot cleaner because they brought in a lot of the trash to help build up their structures. And that is all the desert that I'm going to explore for today, but we did come across some pretty cool stuff. It's a real bummer that people like to go out to the desert and trash it, but at least we can clean it up just a little bit while building something awesome. And there you have it, how to find some cool free parts. But hey, thank you so much for you guys watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please feel free to hit the thumbs up and subscribe. And Lord willing, I'll see you next Friday. Thanks for watching. And please feel free to subscribe.